All right. For some reason, my camera keeps cutting in and out. I am, it's a week to the day before I leave for, um, before I arrive in Georgia. And tomorrow will be one week uh, before I start my hike. I am walking out of Salisbury, Connecticut on the Appalachian Trail. I'm just doing a little training, a little practice hike. It's beautiful around here as you can see. I'll do a little spin. Uh, it's kind of fun being out here like this, knowing that in a few months I will be back here and it will be very, very different. Um, it's cool today. Started off around, I don't know, 32 degrees and then it's getting to be, it's gonna get to be warmer. Um, the snow is, there's been rain and the warm weather has combined to make this an incredibly uh, wet day and the snow is all very wet. I'm about to try to cross a stream here while doing this. Ooh, don't wanna drop the camera in. Yeah, whew, okay, sorry about that. It's beautiful out, I'm really enjoying it out here. Um, it's always nice to be on the trail. It'll also be nice because today, I'm gonna to be staying out here tonight, going back tomorrow, doing up my, uh, doing my final uh, kind of packing and getting everything ready. A lot of loose ends to tie up when you're planning to be gone for up to six months. Um, but I'll be out here tonight and it'll be my first time staying in a shelter in a long time. I did some hiking whoop, at the end of last year near in Vermont on the AT. Um, and I only stayed in a shelter once during that time, so. It's, it's always nice. Shelters have a feel to them that, and a smell to them that remind me of the barns at my, the home I grew up in. <laughs> um, it's a really, really beautiful day. It's a little overcast, but that's fine. It's a little wet, but that's fine too. And it's a little slippery. That being said, I'm gonna let you go and I'll touch back, uh, back with you guys later. When it comes to views on the trail, what you see is what you get. I'm on the top of Lion's Head Mountain, uh, completely covered in fog and mist. Um, but as you can see, the sun coming out, so hopefully it'll clear away all this fog and I'll get some views later on. Uh, the trail continues over this ridge line, as you can see right here. That's the trail, heading up, and that's where I'm going now. Well, I said that uh, the sun was going to clear out everything, and it did. And this is just beautiful. Holy God. This is still Lion's Head. Ah, man, that is stunning. Whew. Context is always great on the trail. So if you see that point right there, that's Lion's Head, where I was earlier. Um, I am now just kind of walking along a nice little ridge. As you can see here, there's the path. Uh, beautiful views of the valley. It's kind of hard to see through the trees here, at least it is when looking through the camera. But let's see if we can get some. Nice. views there. It's, the sun has been coming out and going back. Uh, it's attached to my uh, jacket here, so. But the sun's been coming out and going back in and doing all kinds of stuff, so. The mood keeps changing, but it's re really nice. I passed the first shelter, decided to keep moving on. Move on to the next shelter where I'll have a little snack or lunch or whatever and keep going. All right, let's talk a little bit about shelters. 
These three-sided structures are spaced about 10 miles apart along the Appalachian Trail. Uh, most through hikers, including myself, stay at them or sleep in them at night. Uh, they have, you can see, we're gonna, you know, this one has some picnic tables. This is Brassy Brook uh, Shelter, or maybe it's Brassy Brook Lean To is the name, but it's functionally the same thing as any other shelter. Uh, it is uh, basically just a three-sided structure. This one has a shingled roof, but sometimes they have tin roofs. As you can see down here, there's also a privy, uh, which does the same thing as all privies. <laughs> um, there's a campsite down there at this, this little camp location, I guess, um, within a shelter. Almost every shelter, actually pretty much every shelter, has ugh, a hiker journal or a trail journal. And inside, this is uh, where through hikers can communicate to each other and send messages up and down the trail. Uh, just kind of write your feelings, whatever you want. Keep it clean, keep it upbeat, because other people are going to read it too if you can. Uh, also, you can see here. This is uh, for hanging backpacks and food, although really you should be putting your food hanging in a tree. And this site actually has a bare box, which is a, a metal box that you put your food in and then it kind of clips shut so that way bears can't get to it. But this is for hanging bags and food, which some people do. Um, and what it does is you hang the pack on, on here and then this in this case it's just a bottle top or bottle bottom uh, is hanging there and it's supposed to keep the mice away whether or not it does is a completely different question uh, and that's because there are tons of mice in these shelters they run along your face along your sleeping bag sometimes they get in your sleeping bag uh, and they're just scrounging you know trying to get whatever they can they'll chew through your pack chew through your socks definitely go through your food if they can because um, they're hungry and this is their house so, uh, I'm gonna now uh, gonna have a little snack and then continue up Bear Mountain and continue north. All right, I'm getting near to the summit of Bear Mountain, which is the highest peak in Connecticut. It's been pretty good. I've been making over a two mile an hour pace, which in this snow is, is I'm pretty proud of. Uh, it's really spectacular. It's very, very beautiful. And you can kind of see from this point, you can see all of the mountains that I've climbed up to this point to get here on this little hike. Uh, I think my plan is to either just to go over the mountain, then come back again and camp the shelter down below. Although I may set up my shelter on the other side and then hike it all back tomorrow. I'm kind of playing it by ear. It'll probably be about four months before I'm back here in the height of summer with a huge beard. It'll be way hotter than it is now. Um, <laughs> but uh, it may even be too hot. But it's stunning up here. It's really nice. The cloud cover, which was like overpowering and impressive earlier, is now really making for beautiful scenery. I'll kind of get out of the frame here for you. It's really making for a beautiful, beautiful sight. Alright, my <laughs> second attempt at the summit video from Bear Mountain. <laughs> it is gorgeous, absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous. I'm, on, I'm standing on top of this, it's kind of like a dream. That's an indication. Oh, awesome, nonetheless. Woo! That's the way it came. That's the way I'm going. No backtrack. <laughs> 